We're Allie and Josh from The Phi Couple, and today we're going to be going over money mistakes we made in our 20s, what they were, how we dealt with them, and what we're doing differently in our 30s. But before we do, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more content like this. When we finished undergrad, uh, as well as a master's program, um, for the first time, we were finally making good money. And without consideration for how much debt we had accumulated, we started doing our best to keep up with the Joneses. So what does that look like? Keeping up with the Joneses was getting a fancy apartment, buying a new car because now we earned it. All of these things to kind of inflate our lifestyle um, and enjoy the rewards of having higher income. If we had to pinpoint it, there would probably be three main choices that we made in our 20s that definitely impacted us in a negative way. Mistake number one, expensive car payments. For some reason, we felt that now having professional careers meant that we had to go out and get a fancy car. Um, this couldn't be further from the truth. In fact, now having that expensive car payment, it actually took up a really big portion of our take-home income. And because of that, our ability to save invest and pay off debt became that much harder. I also want to recognize that for many people, having a nice car that you really love and you drive every day is a huge value for them. So we're not here to bash driving nice cars, even financing cars or having new cars. It's a very personal choice that only you can make for yourself. But what we would recommend to someone in their 20s is to drive a used or paid off car. Don't upgrade right away as soon as you get that new job. Now, maybe your financial situation says that an upgrade could make sense. Maybe you have a solid amount of cash set aside, you're a high income earner, and you don't have any debt. In that case, it may totally make sense to get a car. But if you have a lot of debt, your finances are just starting out, taking on that car can really set you back. So even if you do need to finance a vehicle, try to find a monthly payment that fits within your budget. Remember, your first car starting out in your 20s is not your forever car. You always have room to upgrade when it makes sense for your finances. Mistake number two, expensive housing. We got those jobs, we got the fancy car, and of course now we had to go out and get a luxury apartment. Looking back, we probably should have been a lot more mindful of our housing situation, the luxury apartment that we got, which also included a uh, one car garage and pool and gym, it took up a very large portion of our take home income, which again, made it very hard to save, invest and pay off debt. So what would we recommend for someone in their 20s? I would say find a housing situation that makes sense for you and something that is affordable and within your budget. Find creative ways to reduce that housing bill get a roommate, move in with family, or our favorite strategy yet, house hack. Um, we're gonna link the video below all about house hacking, explaining what it is and how you can do it. But bottom line is, if you start off with a very inflated cost of living in a really beautiful luxury apartment, it's gonna be really hard to downgrade down the road. So you're just starting out, you're getting your finances in order, have the opportunity to maybe build your way up. Just like that fancy car, you don't need it right away. Your first apartment out of college or just starting your career is not your forever home. And it's really important to remember that. Mistake number three, credit card debt. Because so much of our money was going towards rent and expensive car payments, this left very little money left over every month to pay for the things that we wanted and needed. Our solution, credit cards. Credit cards gave the impression that we could afford things that we really didn't have the money for. This included vacations, clothing, and other miscellaneous items. So for someone in their 20s just starting out, we would highly recommend do not treat your credit card like a debit card. It is not free money, and oftentimes it comes with a very high interest rate associated with it. So I think a lot of times credit card companies can seem really enticing 
travel rewards, cash back, 0% APR introductions. And all of those things can be great, but only if you're using them responsibly. If you're paying your bill in full, and if you're leveraging the 0% APR for a larger purchase, you have a very calculated payment plan of how you're gonna pay that money back before the interest rate kicks in. Credit cards can be an amazing way to build your credit score and establish that you know borrowing money and paying it back, but it's just really, really important that you do it responsibly. Now in our 30s, looking back, we realize the impact those financial decisions we made had on us not only financially, but also physically and emotionally. Today, we don't have a housing payment because we house hack. We drive two perfectly good used cars, so we have no car payment. And we are very, very careful about using credit cards. And for the most part, we use debit cards. Most people in their 20s are coming out now with tens of thousands and sometimes even hundreds of thousands of dollars of debt, which can have long-term effects which is why we think it's so important to be very mindful early on with the financial decisions you make. And if you're watching this video and you're like, oh my gosh, I've already made these choices and I'm not in a great financial situation, just know that it is never too late to turn your financial situation around. Whether you're in your 20s or you're in your 50s, all it takes is action and consistency and the will to make a change. Today, we're going to be sharing a free download of our budget and network calculator. It is the same calculator that we use to help ourselves pay off $100,000 of student loan debt in three years. So we hope that that is of value to you, and we hope that we can offer some guidance for folks just starting out on some choices you can make to better your financial future. Leave us a comment below. Have you made any of these choices, or have you done things differently. Mm -hmm.